All right, everybody, how's it going? I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, you can see the skid steer behind me, but that's not what this video is going to be about, even though that does have new tires on it. Uh, what I want to talk about today is this toolbox here. Now this toolbox, as you can see, is a U.S. General toolbox that I bought at Harbor Freight. Yes, the dreaded Harbor Freight for, what the hell did I pay for it? With, ta with tax on the side tray, it was about 140 bucks. But I've owned it for about a, a week now. As you can see, I've got tools in it. Freshly purchased Harbor Freight sockets. These, these adapters came from Harbor Freight. These are actually cobalt sockets, also freshly purchased. Uh, grip, Grand Rapids Industrial Tool. Impact sockets, 3 8 drive. Um, I just wanted to do a review on this toolbox because even though it's a cheap toolbox from Harbor Freight, it's actually pretty high quality. You know, you can look, you can look at it here, and it's. I mean, this is good. These bends are. They're not shoddy. The the finish on them is good. It's actually pretty, pretty good steel for being what it is. I mean, it's pretty thin stuff, but it's good. It, it, you know, obviously it's a little dirty, but you can see the finish on it is. It's actually a pretty good finish on it. Uh, I'll walk around to the lid here and I did drag a magnetic flashlight across there and with a little bit of buffing compound that buff right out. So that tells you how good the finish is on it. Folding side tray that actually folds flush with the side of the box. Uh, that side tray holds about 30 pounds. It's this is the four drawer model. They've got a five drawer one. Um, yeah, it's it's a good box. As you can see, I added some personal touches like this bully dog emblem here and these couple of snap on stickers. I'll get you close to them so you can read them. I picked those up at, at school one day few weeks ago because they were laying on the table in the break room over there and I thought they were funny. Um, but yeah, this, this toolbox, it's the four drawer, 30 inch technician's shop cart. Got a handle on it, got, got these screwdriver holes here, holder holes that line up with these down here so if you've got a longer bar you can stick down in there. Uh, I've, obviously I don't have anything stuck in them because I've just got this is all I've got for screwdrivers in here and there in that drawer. Uh, it's got the bottom tray there that's got the box for backup camera that I put on my pickup which is the Hopkins Smart Hitch. Very easy to install. Uh, I, I could have done a video on that when I did that Thursday. Today's Saturday, so two days ago, but uh, I didn't because I was in a bad mood from doing some other stuff that was being a real pain in the ass, but that's not important. Um, this this toolbox, the, the only thing I don't like about it is when you close the lid, see that? It doesn't come down square, and I think that's because that... That spring, which is on the rod that goes down and locks the drawers, that's a very stout spring. And I think that spring is what's holding the door up, and that's why that corner doesn't come down all the way. Which, in the grand scheme of things, is actually a good problem to have. That means it, it's going to hold them rods in there, and the, doors are, or the drawers are going to stay locked. Now, I do, I do lock this box. When I'm not using it, obviously today I was putting tools in it because I just went and bought tools. Um, but you can see I've got my Milwaukee grease gun in there, you know, some sockets, my fluke meter, a couple pairs of pliers. These are actually the, the Nipex or Nipex 
pliers wrenches or pliers wrench wrench pliers what whatever you want to call them um, I saw those on Chucky 2009's channel he, he uses them quite a bit and I thought I'd give them a try uh, so far I haven't found anything to really use them on to test them out but uh, their time will come just like everything else um, yeah, this this box these drawers are actually they hold quite a bit of stuff you know, obviously the top is full that drawer is pretty well full or at least as full as I'm going to make it got my Milwaukee heat gun, M12 ratchet, some blue point sockets and a hammer in there and then got standard gear wrench, ratcheting wrenches they have standard sizes, one, one inch all the way down to I believe quarter come on yeah, quarter inch a uh, couple of ratchets, cobalt 90 gear tooth ratchets you can kind of still read 90 on there um, you know then we got up here I got metric nut drivers metric ratcheting wrenches also gear wrench 8 millimeter all the way to 19 uh, and again like I said up here got your Penetro 90 penetrating oil some cobalt snippers cobalt groove joint pliers these are just light bulbs that I bought for a project that I was working on that I didn't film anything on uh, 5 inch casters on the bottom of it believe it or not solid rubber and uh, it, I mean it rolls nice it rolls smooth you know even with even fully loaded with tools like it is right now it, it rolls pretty good um, yeah I just I'm really impressed with the quality of this box putting it together however was a different story that putting it together could have been easier I'll, I'll say it that way uh, I figured it'd take hour hour and a half to put it together three hours is what it took me three hours to put this thing together which you wouldn't think it should take that long because really all you got to do is you got to put the casters on the bottom and then you've got these uprights you know two uprights per end and you put this in the middle of them and then you got to put them bolt them onto the bottom tray on each side and then you set the box on top and you put the handle on and you put the side tray on shouldn't take that long just putting the casters on took half an hour you know setting the box down in there into the framework you know the instructions say to have somebody help you do it to line it up I didn't have somebody help me so I used the forklift, forklift which is sitting over there and I just I set the box on the forks thought I was zoomed in there set the box on the forks raised it up wheeled the cart underneath it set it down in there and the hardest part about that was this lip sits over where the legs come up and you got to make sure that them legs are inside that lip because otherwise these bolts aren't long enough as you can see they're just barely flush with the nut and those are locking nuts lock nuts nylocks which is another thing that impressed me is nylock nuts not lock washers you know I mean all the way around even even up here on the gas shocks for the door nylock nuts now I didn't realize when I started putting it together that they actually send two different length bolts there was what, what were those half inch and three quarter inch long so not a tremendous difference but there's a difference uh, locking locking casters on the for you wheel it to where you want it and you can lock the casters and it won't go away uh, I don't generally lock them because the floor in here is pretty level and you know like I said fold it down you can lock it Let's see if I can lock it one handed you 
No, I'm not going to be able to. There it goes. Now it's locked. Pull the side tray down. And it's actually pretty compact. You know, it's with the door closed, it's, you know, waist high. You know, so. And I keep my husky magnetic tray on the side. That's where I store the keys. If I don't drop them on the floor, yeah, it's it's a good good box. You know, if you're looking for a small shop cart. Like, like what I was looking for, you know, that, that box, if you get the right coupon, is on sale through the end of the month. I can't remember the coupon number off the top of my head, but, um, yeah, maybe I'll throw a link down in the description to Harbor Freight's website where you can find this box, and you can look on their website and find the coupon if you're interested. Um, these are just Pittsburgh sockets, you know, I got... Standard and metrics. The standards are from 3 16 all the way up to 9 16 And the metric are from, what size is that? 5 millimeter all the way up to 14, I believe. Uh, the cobalt ones are, I believe, 8 millimeter. Yeah, 8 millimeter through 19. But they skip, they skip 16 for some reason. Um, then of course, I bought these adapters. This quarter to three eighths drive one is really the only one I wanted because that Milwaukee ratchet is a quarter inch drive. I wanted the three eighths drive one, but Fleet Farm didn't have it, so I bought the the quarter inch drive one and that that's a handy little tool to have too uh, though those might not be on sale anymore uh, Fleet Farm had they'd had all their M12 stuff all their M12 bare tools $20 off this past week but I don't know uh, today might be the last day of the sale so it might be too late on that for you guys if you're in the area where Fleet farms are common, like Wisconsin, Minnesota. All right. Down by Iowa, you'd have Farm and Fleet, which is the other brother, but their sale might be different. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's just a little tour slash review of this Harbor Freight US General 30-inch four-drawer tech cart that if you're interested, I'll put a link down below. Uh, I'm not being paid to make this video. Uh, I don't make any money if you go and buy it. This is just, I was pretty impressed with it and I wanted to let you guys know. So uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.